Okay, so I'm going to make some banana bread with you today. So banana bread is really, really yummy. It's really moist. So we're going to start with a really ripe banana. Um, probably two, but I only have one today. But two is probably going to be better. It'll give you a better taste. We're going to use some baking powder and some cinnamon powder. We're going to use some golden syrup. You can use honey if you don't have golden syrup, um, but this makes it vegan. You're going to use some sugar. I'm using raw sugar here, which is slightly um, brown in colour, but you can use normal white sugar, it's fine. Um, a pinch of salt. Um, we're just going to add a small amount of salt just to counteract the sweetness. Um, Self-raising flour. Um, I'm using gluten-free because I'm gluten-free, but um, just normal white self-raising flour is good. One egg. Now you don't have to add the egg. I find that the egg makes it a little bit more dense and it sticks together a little bit better. If you're vegan and you don't wanna put the egg in, you can add a bit of Zampian gum instead or Gaga powder, which you can buy like from Holland and Barrett. So you can buy it from Sainsbury's too. Um, a dash of milk, just to give it a little bit more um, to bind together. You don't have to use cow's milk. You can use oat milk, any kind of alternative milk that you wanna use. And then again, that makes it vegan. So that's what we're gonna use. You're gonna need a loaf pan, and I have um, lined mine with baking paper. It just helps it to come out of the pan a little bit better. You're gonna need a spoon and a fork and a cup, so to do some measuring, um, and a nice big silver bowl. So we're gonna get ready and we're gonna start baking. Okay guys, so before you get cooking, you want to make sure you clean your hands thoroughly with some nice soap and water. Make sure there are no dirty hands or germs here. And once you're cleaning your hands, you can get mum, dad or a parent to help preheat the oven for you. We want to preheat the oven to maybe gas mark 3 or 160 degrees Celsius if you're using a electric oven. Don't play with the oven yourself, make sure there's someone there to supervise you and turn it on for you. Once the hands are nice and clean, we're ready to work in the kitchen. So into our bowl, we are going to mash this very ripe banana. So ripe bananas are really sweet. They're also really soft. Um, and that gives our banana bread a really nice um, texture. So here you can see it's nice and soft. It's mashing up really, really well. Again, two bananas is probably better than one, but that's all that I have today. Um, you can freeze bananas as well, so if they're going too ripe too quickly, you can give them a freeze. They're great for putting into breads to make them sweet and moist. Um, and they're good for smoothies too, so you can freeze them. Make sure you peel them out of their skins, you freeze them in a little Ziploc plastic bag. So into here, we're going to add a dash of milk. Now a dash is literally a dash, just... Oh, oh, maybe a little bit more. There you go, just that much. Then into here, we are going to put um, a cup, uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna take my sugar, I've got my cup here, and I'm gonna measure out three quarters of a cup. So don't use a very big cup, a nice small cup. There we go, so three quarters of a cup, and in it goes. Now because this banana bread has got like a really um, cool texture, you don't have to worry too much about sieving your flour. Gluten free flour tends to be a little bit less um, lumpy, because it's usually made from rice flour or potatoes. So we're going to add in a cup, same cup, of flour so in it goes a nice big cup of flour if you're using normal flour um, just white self-raising flour you can sieve it if you want to um, that's an extra job that you might like to do with mum or dad in the kitchen make sure you get all your flour in there next you can add your egg so break your egg an egg make sure you don't get any shells in there have a quick look see there's no shell in there and the shell itself you can put into your compost heap and um, flowers really like eggshells so roses and such really like eggshell it gives them really nice nutrients so there's our egg what's next 
oh, we need to add our baking powder and cinnamon. So we're going to take a teaspoon, a small spoon of each. Cinnamon's quite a nice, strong flavour. Sprinkle it in. Also helps to give the bread a little bit of colour. Same amount of our baking powder. This one's gluten-free, so if you are a celiac or you're gluten-free like me, you can get gluten-free baking powder. In it goes. This gives the bread a little bit of a kind of like a sherbet -y zing to it. We also want to add a pinch of salt. Here I'm using natural pink, um, uh, pink salt flake. Um, and a pinch is literally a pinch. So I'm going to take a pinch between my fingers, pinch it in. Small amount of salt is all that you need. Um, next we need to add, oh, our golden syrup. So this recipe is really, really simple. You don't have to try too hard. Make sure it's open. We're taking the bigger spoon, the tablespoon, and we want two generous tablespoons of golden syrup. Now the golden syrup, I like the taste better than honey, but maybe you might prefer honey. Or you can add agave, um, which is made from cactus, if you prefer it. Some people are a little bit allergic to it, so just be careful. Make sure that you ask people what they're allergic to before you give them anything that you make at home. There's one, it's got a really cool texture. I, like, I love golden syrup. So golden syrup has a little bit more of a, I'd say like a caramelly taste than honey. Oh, it's so cool to watch it run off the spoon, huh? So we want two big tablespoons of our golden syrup and then we're gonna mix it all together into the bowl. So, once we've added all the ingredients, and I don't think I've left anything out, you wanna start mixing it together. Now, it's quite a thick and sticky um, bread, so um, it's not gonna be runny like cake mix. Now, if you get to the point where you might need a little bit more moisture to get it to come together, you see here, it's getting a bit thick, like my spoon's getting a bit stuck in it. You might add a little bit more of your milk. Not too much, it's not runny. We wanna make sure that it stays together well. It is more like a bread recipe. I think I might add a little, little bit more milk. Not much, just the dash. You can see I'm combining all of the ingredients together and I'm making sure I don't leave any extra bits out on the sides. So let's add a little dash of milk. It's a little bit thick. I can feel it pulling on my hand and my wrist. That's all I'm going to add, just that little bit dash there of milk. And I'm going to continue mixing, 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 mixing. lumps of banana in it and that's okay but we're making sure that we mix all the ingredients well together particularly the sugar and the flour whoa it's really cool really gloopy and runny so now that we've mixed it we need to get it into our cake pan or our bread loaf tin and we can get it ready to go in the oven Now guys, if you enjoyed making the mess, you better make sure you help clean it up too. So don't leave mum and dad with the washing up. Make sure you help do the washing up too. So we're gonna put our banana bread loaf into the oven for about 30 minutes 
or until you put a skewer or a fork into the middle and if it comes out clean that means there's none of this um, texture raw texture coming off the fork or the skewer then it's ready so let's put it into the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all cooked okay guys so I thought I'd show you how my banana bread turned out it turned out really really well so it's really fluffy and bouncy and it's cooked all the way through it's really sweet um, you can eat it like this or you can toast it and put a bit of butter on it that'd be really nice I made myself a cup of tea I'm gonna have some now if you enjoyed my recipe let me know and I'll be back soon cooking in the kitchen making some cool stuff some arts and crafts with you um, keep safe keep yourself indoors and I'll see you soon bye